day 42 in Nebraska and the scenery is definitely changing. Looks like a good day, shouldn't be too much wind. And I'm just gonna enjoy the scenery, live in the moment and ride my bike, let's go. is done and it was a good day overall um, the weather was really good not too much wind and that's a beautiful thing because in that area of the country there there's nothing to block the wind and if it's really windy it can be horrible as I remember from my trip from the Mexican border to the Canadian border because it reminded me of a day I don't know if I was in Nebraska or one of the Dakotas but it's very similar scenery to that and the roads the roads they like to crack and then they pull apart and then so you're riding along and like every two or three seconds you hit one of those and it's like they're big so it's like bump 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 and it just gets so bad after a while it's really frustrating i remember one day i had a really long day planned and <clears throat> turned out there was headwind the whole day and the road was like that for a long time too and i was just so mad so mad <laughs> but you know today wasn't so bad because there wasn't really any wind to speak of so i ended up making good time and then, so I was on my way to South Dakota where, so last night in uh, Nebraska, my hotel was garbage and the Wi-Fi didn't work. So I wasn't able to book my hotel for South Dakota. So I was gonna stop in Rapid City, find some Wi-Fi and then book my hotel. And I plan on going to Spearfish, which is a little bit north of there. So what ended up happening was on the way there, I realized that the time zone changed, so I, I uh, gained an hour of time. So I was like, you know what? I might want to just keep on driving to North Dakota because it'll be a long drive, but with the hour with the hour difference, it'll seem like a shorter, right? So um, as it works out, North Dakota was kind of a, a difficult one to fit into the route to me <laughs> because you kind of had to go up to North Dakota and then go back down and backtrack. So it doesn't really fit. So if I can do this and go to North Dakota today, then I can go to South Dakota tomorrow and it puts me in the direction where I'm wanting to go eventually towards Montana and Wyoming. So I figured I might as well do that today since there is the time change and the drive to Rapid City was pretty good. I was feeling in a good enough mood to keep on driving. It's rare that I feel like driving more, but I was like, you know, I feel all right. I feel like I might as well keep on going. So that's what I'm doing and I'm less than an hour away right now and I still feel pretty good. So I hope it turns out to be a good thing because I've made a few changes to the itinerary and the changes that I've made so far have worked out for me. So I hope this one does too. I checked the weather just to be sure that there wasn't like, I wasn't gonna run into rain one day when I could have avoided it or something. And it looks good for both days. It's gonna be lighter winds, and but it is gonna be hot into the 90 degrees. So it hasn't been hot for a long time since uh, probably the south. Or I remember there was a hot day, I think in New Jersey or something like that. So I haven't been into the 90s for a long time. And it's kind of funny that it would be in the Dakotas <laughs> because I wouldn't have thought that but uh, yeah, either way, it should work out. I'm headed to Bowman, North Dakota, which is sort of close to the South Dakota border there. And then I'll probably go back to Spearfish where I plan on going before, unless there's something that is uh, more of a direct route. I don't know for sure. 
if I want to do Montana first or if I want to do Wyoming first. So I'm going to play with all of that tonight or maybe tomorrow night. And yeah, I did make an itinerary <laughs> and it should have been good enough, right? But I don't know. I just, it's always a work in progress. I keep playing with it thinking there must be a better way. There must be a better way. And this part of the trip was always kind of a, a difficult one because you know, the states are so big, the drives seem long no matter what you do. And I just kept redoing it and redoing it and thinking there has to be a better way. There has to be a better way. So, um, but yeah, there are some long drives ahead of me. No big deal. There are eight days left and you know, that's the way it's going to be. The motivation is high. Uh, nothing's going to stop me at this point. So it's been a really scenic drive so far and this is a really fun part of the country. It's probably like an underrated area, but I definitely doubt that I would want to be here in the winter time. <laughs> so South Dakota, I'll see you again tomorrow. No, yeah, at the end of tomorrow, I'll see you again tomorrow, but I won't ride you for another two days. So I'll see you guys tomorrow from North Dakota. Oh, another thing, my GPS, when I was saving the ride at the very end of the ride, the screen decided to freeze up on me so I had to like restart it it's a Brighton Rider 750 you just hit all three buttons and it shuts off and on again and the ride was still there so I still have the file and everything but I've also I've been backing it up with the, the Strava app on my phone just in case so I actually posted the one on my phone so I'm gonna have to delete that and then replace it with the one from my GPS so it might look weird when I re-upload it like I've already done that route before um, but anyway I just hope I'm gonna need that <laughs> I'm gonna need that GPS for directions later on so I hope it was just a, a one-time thing and if not I was looking and if I go to there's a few places in Rapid City I can go to but it's all Garmin and I've, I've always had bad luck with Garmin so I do not want to buy another Garmin but if I have to I have to and I'll probably just sell it after the trip is over but hopefully tomorrow everything is good back to normal and it's just a one thing one day thing but that's it for real this time see you tomorrow